know what it is. It's great. Shout out to Dog Skin TV. You know, family. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. This gonna make them put the pin down. Show them it made the beat so you know this bitch retarded. It ain't no secret, I be shopping with kids. I'm like, Pop, you think they want to smoke? He like, I don't think they want to smoke. What's up, what's up, what's up? We got my man Fresh in the building. Man, what's good with it, man? How you doing, man? That's what's up, that's what's up. Hey, well, look, check this out. So, I'm going to go ahead and get this thing started. Uh, so, first off, uh, where you grew up at? I grew up in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Glen Oaks, Stumpin' Ground, Glen Oaks. All right, all right. Okay, so so, what's your what's your musical background? You know what I'm saying? Like, who who what, what influences you to to make your music? Uh, uh, artists is like Lee Dirt, Money Bag, yo, my dad motivates me, you know, to keep going. Even you know, when I feel like it ain't really first me, just you know, keep me going and stuff. But artists like the Red, the Shine. Money bag, yo, lit dirt. I'm already too much listening to me. I always like to stay focused on myself. Okay, okay. So, what do you think about the hip hop scene out here in Baton Rouge? I mean, I feel like it could be better than what it is. Like, it's like they just trying to get the against each other instead of going coming together, you know, like other cities, like Atlanta, they they help build each other up, but Van Rudd is just you all for yourself, you know. Right, right, yeah, and I heard that before, you know what I'm saying? Like crabs in a bucket, you know. Yeah. Maybe pulling each other back, you know. Uh, so like who have you collaborated with and who like if you haven't had any collabs, who who would you like to collaborate with? Well, I collab collaborated with like local artists, upcoming artists like Day Lovely. I got um, Mud Light Trail. Uh, I got uh, my dad. Mostly, you know, in-house family people okay. on it, but like artists that I like to collaborate with, see myself on songs with, uh, Moneybag, Yo, uh, Lit Dirt, even a couple songs with Young Boy. That's, yeah, that's about it. Okay, okay. So, like, in, in what ways would you say like your music changed from when you first first started? First started, first my voice then changed. Uh, I mean, you get better as you keep progressing. Right. And um, I I can feel myself like coming out of my shell every time I get in the yoke. Uh, my lyrics getting better, way better than when I first started. I mean, um, I can get on any beat, any beat you throw to me. I come up with hooks like. Fast, you know. Okay. Pretty consistent with it, so. All right. So, when you write your lyrics, you know what I'm saying? Like when you writing your song, like what? What's your main inspirations? Like what's it? What makes you write your songs? You know what I'm saying? Like what inspires you to write the type of songs you write? Uh, some songs I can just be feeling like. Like I got a couple songs about my life. I don't really talk too much about my life, but one day I was just like, I mean, talking to my parents and they was like, you really blessed, you know, you shouldn't be, you know, scared or well, afraid to hide what the happen. So I was like, all right. So I went looking YouTube for a beat and I, I just, I found this beat. And in the next 15, 10 minutes, I came up with this hook. And then I laid the hook down. And 10 minutes, it took me 10, 10 or 15 minutes to come up with the verse. And 
I named it I'm Blessed. And that's, that's really another reason why I got this I'm um, Blessed tattoo right here. Because of what I went through. So, it, I mean, it all depends on like what's going going through my head. Like, if I feel like I want to talk about money and cars, I get on that subject. If I want to talk about my life, then I, you know, I hop on that subject. Okay. Okay. How old are you? 17. 17, all right, all right. How long have you been rapping? I've been rapping since I was nine. Nine years old, I did my first song with my dad. I shot first video to the song. I had kind of stopped, but I just was listening to a beat one day. And like I say, I just, like, let me try something. Ever since then, I've just been in the old country progressing. Okay. So if you had any advice to give any upcoming artists in Baton Rouge or just any artists anywhere, what, what would you tell them? Be yourself. Don't, you know, don't, don't wait for handouts. Just, you know, grind, 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 grind. Stay focused. Uh, put your all into your music instead of putting your all into, like, other people. Rapping, just stay focused. I mean, be consistent. Like, set your own tone. Okay. So, let us know something about you that that, that nobody else knows. I mean, I see you, you said you blessed, but like, I mean, if you don't want to talk about it, it's fine. It's cool. Yeah, uh, I mean, but I mean, let let everybody know something about you that, that they don't know. You know what I'm uh, when I was six years old, I was diagnosed with um, ALS, leukemia. Uh, so. Found that out. I rushed to the hospital. Was in isolation for two weeks. I still remember room number 306. Uh, so I was going through there taking chemo. But then you know, God worked miracles. And one day it was like, well, my dad was my donor, so I had a bone marrow transplant. So process of death when the blood um, bone marrow transplant was finished uh, the results came back and they pretty much was like you can go home you know you good just come back every three months so ever since 2007 since my bone marrow transplant I've been straight this, actually this is my last year going when I make 18 um, I go every year but yeah I've been Doing good ever since 2007. So. Okay, okay. Well, yeah, I sure appreciate the time, you know what I'm saying? When you sitting down to talk with me, you know what I'm saying? We'll let everybody know about you. And you got any new music that's coming? You got anything out? Yeah, I got a, um, actually, I got a mixtape out on Spin Rilla called Before the Money. It's on Spin Rilla, YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music, and Google Play. Um, and I also got a upcoming mixtape that's going to come out. Um, that I'm, it's pretty much done, but uh, I'm just, you know, putting my last line of touches on it. Uh, just mainly focus on shooting videos right now. And then probably shoot like two, three videos, then I might come out with that. But other than that, uh, yeah, just I'm constantly in the yoga working. If I ain't in school, I'm in the yoga working. My social media, you can follow me on Instagram, self made fresh. And, um, I keep pretty much keep you updated on there about my music, but Spinrilla, SoundCloud, and YouTube, that's what it's at right now. Alright, alright. I sure appreciate you, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep my eye on you, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure you got some more fire shit in the making, because I was just listening to something. And yo, and shit, that first 48, that bit there, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That, that bit something nice, it's crucial, you know what I'm saying? But I appreciate the time, you know what I'm saying? The opportunity to sit down and talk with you. And one more time, let everybody know what your name is. Yeah, my name is Fritz. You know, just stay tuned. I got some high shit coming on the way, so just stay tuned. Already, already. It's Dark Skin TV. We signing out this thing. Hey! So you know this bitch retarded.
It ain't no secret, I be shopping with kids. I'm like, Pops, you think they want to smoke? He like, I don't think they want to smoke, but if they do.